When you see this outfit, you know where it's from. Would you like to come to my house and listen to some music? And when you see this font, you know who it belongs to. But if you can't tell where this sound is from, hey, young Metro, I don't trust you. I'm gonna shoot you. then you should stop watching this video. <laughs> Icons are visuals, symbols, styles, sounds, and even scents to help us identify someone or something. In the first two episodes of Building a Brand People Love, we developed our brand story and our brand message that helped identify our uniqueness and attract people into our communities. Now in this video, we're gonna develop our icons that help people identify us and our communities in a heartbeat. Music is all about finding the right sound to trigger an emotional response in people. I mean, this is why producers spend hours trying to find the right snare for their beat. Music is the strongest sensory signal because it could change your mood in an instant and even change your life. So being able to claim a certain sound, style, instrument, and even genre is powerful. Because if you can enhance people's lives with your music, they're always gonna associate you with those good times and even difficult times that you help them get through with your music. So here are some examples to help you brainstorm. You can claim a certain sound effect like T-Pain's auto-tune, or Travis Scott's vocal chain. It can be a producer tag like Pierre Bourne's. <laughs> Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs> or for Rouse four count start. It can even be claiming a certain sound like DJ Mustard's Hey. hey! Or you can develop your own style like the weekend cinematic dark RB. You can claim songs for certain events like We Are the Champions by Queen. <laughs> All I Want For Christmas by Mariah Carey, every holiday season. So ask yourself, what audio elements help you stand out from everything else? Which parts of your story and message can be incorporated into your sound? And which audio elements trigger a positive emotional response in you? Don't judge a book by its cover, but honestly we all do. If you were to see a guy in a suit standing next to a guy in sweatpants, you would assume the guy in the suit is doing better in life. And we might be wrong, but that's what we assume simply based on looks. Looks are the first thing that catch our eye. How you look gives off energy, whether good or bad. So your style and fashion are gonna play a big part in your overall brand. Maybe your brand and music is laid back, so all you wear is hoodies and jeans. But that's too basic. You can enhance your look with accessories. Like Chance the Rapper, he has a laid back look, but he has that iconic number three snapback that separates him from everyone else. I mean, he even wears it with his suits. Think about your favorite artist which visual elements help them stand out to you. If we look at Post Malone, he has face tats like a SoundCloud rapper, but then he mixes it with his country style. Then we could look at the EDM side, like Dead Mouse, Marshmello, and Daft Punk, who all wear masks that make them unique. We can look at bands and groups who wore uniforms, like the Beatles suits, to run DMC's tracksuits. Or it can be as simple as Future sunglasses that he rarely takes off. <laughs> Sensational. There are so many visual elements that you can add to your overall style that's gonna separate you from everyone else. This can be your hairstyle, tattoos, accessories, uniforms, costumes, anything. But remember, it all has to fit into your overall brand. Here are some other examples that can make you iconic. When you think of someone like Elton John, what do you think of? The piano. You have the opportunity to claim a certain instrument for your brand. Maybe it's an American flag electric guitar or a bedazzled drum set. Graphics are also iconic. These are things like symbols, logos, and fonts. For example, I bet you can instantly name these two bands by simply looking at their logo. But one thing you should know before creating a logo is that you must first give it meaning, which means you need to get your brand story, your message, your sound, and your style in order before creating a logo. Personally, I don't think you need to develop a logo as an artist. I think it's better for you to become your own logo. Set the example. Finally, another way to become iconic is to be a great performer. Just think of artists like Elvis, Michael Jackson, and Kanye West. These artists are iconic for creating an amazing experience for their audiences. Whether it's dancing like Elvis and Michael Jackson, or it's Kanye West stages and sets, people will always remember how you make them feel. So give it your all on those stages. Once again, thank you for watching. And if you haven't watched the first two episodes of Building a Brand People Love, I highly recommend it because it will help you in developing your sound, style, and imagery. I'll catch you guys on the next one.